Today we're heading to Ubud and checking into our own little villa in the jungle. This is literally the dream. We're spending the month in Bali and after being in Changu for the past week, I'm excited to explore a new area. But before we visit the rice fields, all the waterfalls and see the monkeys, we want to spend some time relaxing. Well, that's what we were hoping for. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Where is it? Oh my god. We are currently packing up our room in Changu and today we're heading to Ubud and I'm just so excited because we've got our own villa in Ubud and this is just the thing that I've been so excited about just having our own like place hopefully it looks like the photos on Airbnb so we just put this through Airbnb and that is basically where most of the nice villas are just on Airbnb we were just scrolling through Airbnb and this is the one that we found and I'm just so excited so we're heading to Uber we're just currently packing up everything to take with us then we're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're gonna get a taxi so that is the plan of action but we need to hurry up because we always leave it right till when we're checking out to like finish packing and we've got like 20 minutes until we need to check out so we do need to hurry up we're all packed ready to go this room has been so nice definitely recommend if you are staying in Changu. it's so close to everything and yeah i've just really enjoyed it this hotel was called eastern ashta resort so our time here is done it's over, we're out. Let's go. Come back to this place called Mile End, and it's so nice. We've come here like two times before, but Jasper's got his iced coffee. And they always look so good. It's basically, they basically make it like a frappe. Yeah. This looks so good. I need some sugar in that. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is sugar syrup or tequila, but we'll soon find out. Just neck it off. Oh, that's so much better. That's good. I love the little like glass comes in as well. Yeah, it's nice glass. It looks so good. Jasper's got some sausages, some eggs. Nice. It's very brown, isn't it? Yeah. And you got some fruit. Yeah. Yeah, this looks unreal. Breakfast was so nice, but now it is time to head to Ubud. So we've just arrived at the Airbnb and it's so nice. Like, as soon as we walked in, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's necessary to do a room tour or a villa tour. Like, we haven't stayed in anything like this so far in our travels. We've mainly been sticking to like hotels and that's pretty much it really. So this is just so nice to just have a change. It made me realize as soon as we walked into this villa, like we really are in the jungle, but I'm just yeah. so excited. Wait for Jess to get scared of all the bugs. I know, I need to put bug repellent on everywhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is just not good. But I've got to embrace it. I've got to embrace all the bugs. Who knows, we might even see monkeys. Don't know if they live in those sort of trees though. But anyway, getting sidetracked. Let's do a tour. So this is our little pathway up to the villa. And then as you come in, it just looks so nice. As you come in, we walk out to here and this is the big bedroom area. And then obviously this is like a big kind of like mosquito net to keep all the bugs at bay. We'll just make sure to put it down at night. So yeah, I really like it. It's so open and big. And then over here, we've got just a little seating area. And this next part is my favorite part, the outdoor area. Let's go outside. It's just so peaceful. Yeah, really peaceful. So as you can see, it's quite like jungly, but we've got a little pool. It does look a little bit green, but we can't tell whether that's from the tiles or if it's actually green. This is our view of literally the jungle. Like how crazy is this? So nice. And then here we've got this really nice seating area. How beautiful is this? We're definitely going to be chilling out here. Oh my gosh, there are huge ants. I really love like beigey white sort of decor. Like I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. Is that bugs? <laughs> Jasper's already making himself at home. Oh, nothing. there. Yeah, really nice. It's quite nice that it's in the shade as well. Right, anyway, let's go back inside and I'll continue with the tour. So here we've got a TV. 
this little sideboard and then this door doesn't open so i think it's just like cleaning products or something anyway coming back behind the bed we've got a little mini kitchen and we've actually got we could probably cook something in here which is quite nice so i think the drawers are just filled with stuff that you can cook with i'm pretty sure she said there were like pans yeah so got everything we need if we want to cook something also got this water machine so you can get hot water and cold water which i thought was pretty cool especially because like we've been just been constantly drinking bottled water so this is quite nice to have then we've got a nice a big fridge like you could literally fit so much stuff in this microwave even got blenders like they've literally thought of everything and toaster so that is all gonna come in handy over here i've got really nice big wardrobe space and an iron which i appreciate so much oh my gosh i didn't even notice that a fly swirl that's hilarious that must, this must be like an electric um what's a stop bug thing yeah you can see there's those mosquitoes all over it oh yeah but overall i just love this space i like how much light comes in like it's just beautiful i'd actually want to live here this is so nice and coming back here we've got the bathroom and double sinks so me and jackal could have our own sinks which is amazing toilet and then we've got this huge shower like it's absolutely massive we really don't need a shower this big but i can't complain because i love it and it looks like it also goes out to the outside as well so after you've like been in the pool you can just hop into the shower so that must be the pool there yeah and lots of nice big mirrors as well so love it i'm just so happy to be here so for anyone wondering the price of this we've booked this for four nights and it costs 366 pound which personally i think is so good for this size of like villa and everything that you get with it i just think that's amazing the boss of bed saying oh comfy well softer than the bed we had in Changi. is it so we're gonna head out i saw a supermarket on the way here so i think we'll just head there and get some supplies for the next couple of days we're about a half an hour walk um into the center of ubud so i think we're gonna get a taxi or something to take us in there tonight and yeah just basically spend the evening exploring ubud and yeah see what's out and about like i don't really know if there's like tons of restaurants or coffee shops or anything but at least there's a supermarket so we can get some bits and also we do have a kitchen so we could just make use of that as well Spoiled a lizard, how cute. So we decided to walk instead of getting a taxi and it's not even that fast to be fair. We're in well, quite a good location. We, we yet, babes. True, but we're basically planning on getting some food um, just from like a restaurant. We might, we might be going to this place called Simply Social, which my friend Tilia recommended when she last came to Bali. She said she absolutely loved it. And I think it's not that far from us, so we might head there, but we'll see. We'll see what's about, we'll explore, but I do really want to eat there. We're just walking along this street. It's actually quite busy, I'm quite surprised. Like, it's very similar to like, Changu in terms of traffic. Yeah, we're, we're literally like the center of Ubud. Ah. The Ubud sign shows there. Like that's in this crossroad directly in the middle. So I think Simply Social is just up the corner here. So we'll just have a look and see how busy it is and if we can get a table. Guys, we found it. It's just here. It looks so cute. There's so much choice. We're going to get some tacos. Jasper wants to go for the honey coriander ones. Um, Tilia says the shredded jackfruit is unreal though. But you love chicken. I do. They've also got nachos. Like this is our dream. This is so nice. Simply Social was so nice. It was quite weird that the food came out so quickly though. Yeah, we were just like, like alarmingly quick, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, it was really quick, but it tasted unreal, so delicious. It was very I really want to go back, like there's so many other things that I'd eat on that yeah, menu. Yeah, that's what I used to do, we could go back and order completely different food yeah. than we did the first time. Yeah, exactly. We're now going to walk back to our villa and I think we'll stop at a supermarket on the way back and just see what's in there. Yeah, see what we can buy. Yeah, this is a supermarket. We're going for Pepito. Yeah, it's very big. See what they got in there. So nice in here. Where do we go? We need some bug repellent. <laughs> we found That's it. That's the ones they got in the room for us already. Oh. Huh. I let they do the refill things. Oh yeah. Fuck Even it. got loads of fruit in here. These look so good. We are back from the supermarket and it felt like quite a sketchy walk home. Like there was like no street lights, but Jasper had a torch. 
but every like moped that would go past I'd get scared now I don't know it just felt a little bit like it just made me feel a little bit anxious like walking back and also there's huge holes in the middle of the pavement like I need to show you at some point because like walking down the street you could literally fall down like a huge hole um so it's just like a little bit sketchy walking back but we made it back in one piece that's all good and the supermarket was so nice like it was quite expensive actually like more expensive than I was expecting but it was quite a lot of like imported stuff as well so I guess that's why it's like a bit more pricey but we got a whole big bag of stuff so I'm going to show you all the stuff that we bought um, but I just love going into like supermarkets abroad and just like imagining what it would be like if you actually lived here and like what you could buy like I just love it started off by getting some big bottles of water then we got some freshly cut up man no not mango me watermelon you could buy a whole more watermelon but I just thought that would be such a waste because I doubt we'd eat a whole watermelon in like four days so just opted for it pre-cut up Got this little loaf of bread, which how cute is that? I'll give you a grand total on price at the end. Got a little pano chocolate, which looks so good. This is quite expensive. This was 26,000. One pack like that. Yeah. That was Jasper's pick, by the way. Yeah. Why didn't we look on the bottom? I didn't even think that, did I? Okay. I just thought, oh, there's no prices, or we'll just buy it. Got two bug repellents. We got four packs of Oreos because these are pretty cheap and they're also so good. And you get different flavors. So this is chocolate cream. I've got um, peanut butter flavor, which I don't think I've seen these in the UK. Maybe they just don't have them in my local supermarket. Um, and then we got double stuff. So love that. I picked up some oranges. My obsession with wafers continues and I picked up these ones. I just love a chocolate wafer. Some cookies. These are really nice. We got some jam to go with the bread so we could have like jam on toast in the morning. So it's just some strawberry jam. Then we got some pasta and also some pasta sauce. This tomato, onion and garlic one. It looked quite nice. This was like £2.50 though. So all the pasta sauces were like really expensive. They had like Domio's. They even had a Jamie Oliver one. Um, but we just opted for this one, which was slightly cheaper. But yeah, they were all quite pricey to be fair. And so was the pasta. Like in the UK, you can get pasta for like 50p. So cheap. Whereas this was like £2 as well. So yeah, I definitely noticed the difference in price. These are so good. So we first tried these in Singapore. And I've been obsessed ever since. They're little like, they kind of remind me a bit of Crave, but like more of like a biscuity Crave than like a cereal Crave. Then we just picked up some like cans of drinks, so Coke Zero, Sprite, all of that stuff to put in the fridge. Then the final two things we got, some apple juice. Now I had this in Thailand and this one's really nice. And also some Pringles, cause why not? I love some Pringles and Jasper doesn't like crisps. So this is the only snack that he won't eat. And that is everything. So we've got the receipt in here. So the grand total was 442,000, which um, Jasper got the notification because he paid on card and it was 24 pounds. So yeah, I mean, it's not too bad really because we've got a couple of like things for breakfast, tons of snacks and everything. So yeah, that is my little Bali supermarket haul. I hope you enjoyed. Nothing too exciting. Most of it, to be fair, is kind of like stuff that you could get in the UK, but thought I'd share anyway. For the rest of the evening, I think I'm going to shower because I literally haven't showered today and I've been so sweaty. And then I'm going to chill, get in bed, and then have a full day tomorrow in Ubud in the villa, which is going to be so nice. Just in a natural habitat. <laughs> It's actually so cozy sleeping with like nets around you. It feels like you're in a little den. <laughs> I love it. Although you did have a giant ant as I like pulled my phone in this morning. Like a giant ant was on my phone. But it's only an app. Yeah, but it was a big bug. But apart from that, we've been all good. No mosquitoes, no nothing. So. All good in the hood. All good. Time to wake up though. Looks like such a nice day. Good morning everyone, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> this morning, we're cooking up a storm of bread, well, it's gonna be toast, and strawberry jam. So that's what we're gonna be eating this morning. We've currently got a guy in the garden looking at the pool. I'll tell you more about that once he's gone. But for now, we're gonna be making some toast. This knife needs to sharpen. I can't chop it up. I've enlisted Jasper to help. <laughs> we got the toast. I'm so excited to eat it. So essentially this morning, pool guy came. We just messaged the Airbnb host and just said, the pool's a bit green. 
like do you know why this is is it from the tiles because essentially we looked back at the airbnb photos and it was blue in the photos and it was really green yesterday so we just messaged and said like it's okay to like swim in it or like and they said they'd send someone around to have a look so they've just come this morning and it does look a lot better actually but i don't know what they've done to her so the airbnb host said they put some chemicals in it yesterday and it takes a couple of now he's saying it's fit. like too much i think he was i think that's what he was saying like, like don't he, swim in it he put chemicals in it but now he said there's too much i think he said he's put something in it to bring the chemicals down oh, okay but he said it should be it should be fine to swim in but i was like but you just said the chemicals are really high <laughs> maybe not that but, but he did say something about like maybe after lunch time so i was like i'm oh, just oh, leave okay. it for a bit yeah it looks so much better though than yesterday yesterday was green but i couldn't tell like whether it was from the tiles because i've seen in, in villas that they've had like green yeah. tiles so that would make the water look green oh yeah i don't know what he's putting when i was talking to him i was looking down at that jet coming out mm. and you could see whatever was coming out of the jet was like a different color to the water mm. so he's always put something there we're going to show you the pool it's looking so much better so much more blue than yesterday it was like so green I'll wait till after lunch time because he did kind of say that. Yeah. Well, he kind of said it's fine, but kind of said, wait till after lunch time. So <laughs> we'll wait till after lunch time. I'm so excited. We've just been chilling outside for a little bit and it's so nice out here. So peaceful. You literally can't hear anything. No road noise, only the jungle. And Jasper saw a huge lizard. They're like absolutely massive. We saw one on Bamboo Island when we were in Thailand and it sounded like, was like, it sounded like a right person was yeah like going through the jungle and then Jasper saw a huge lizard so, so much more blue compared to yesterday so the chemicals are working but it's just absolutely stunning out here so nice i just feel so lucky to be here you happy to be in the bud oh bugs attacking you yeah it's good it's nice isn't it it's very chill yeah chilling killing could do have a coffee though <laughs> yeah that'd be nice we could, we could just go out for a bit. Yeah. Let's fill the pool. It's so refreshing. Do you think it's safe to get it? Jasper's delving into his expensive pan of chocolate. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Worth every penny? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's probably the nicest pan of mm -hmm. chocolate I've ever had. I'm saying that, I've probably had about four in my lifetime, but. It's so buttery. Yeah, it's well nice. That's well nice, I want that. Thank you. Uh, no. Our iced coffees have just been delivered and we ended up just ordering them on Grab and it only cost four pounds for both of them and delivery, which I thought was well good. Look so good. So we got ice latte of oat milk and then Jasper's got one with ice cream in. That's Jasper's one. He got ice latte with ice cream. So let's give him a try. <laughs> let's pour the sugar syrup in. Should I just go for the whole thing? I'll put yeah, a knowing you. I'll just put a little bit in. That's quite a lot actually. Yeah. yeah. That is so nice. What There's ice like? cream that. Oh yeah. Yours looks weird. Mm. This is literally the dream. <laughs> like, what is this? We're like in our villa, and we get iced coffees delivered for four pound. I just can we just move to Bali already? <laughs> we were gonna get a Starbucks, but Starbucks was literally like four pound fifty each, and then plus delivery, so it'd have been like twelve pound to get some like lattes. So we saw this one, and we thought, oh, we'll just give it a try. Best decision ever. Right guys, we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna be making some pasta for lunch. I'm actually so excited about this. Is this quite sad? I feel like you take things for granted when you're traveling, like making your own food. And I just am really excited about this. So, let's cook some pasta. <laughs> Meal to my pasta. <laughs> this is so nice. It's 
actually such a nice temperature. later and we honestly have just had the most chilled relaxing day and i have loved every single second of it it's just been so nice to relax and it was so hot like when you're in the direct sunlight it is boiling hot but anyway we were gonna go out for dinner and we were like oh where should we go we couldn't really find anywhere that we like particularly fancied or like most of it like it is like a half an hour walk so we were gonna get a taxi but neither of us could be bothered like we're feeling very lazy since we've been coming to the villa so we just ended up ordering a grab so we've ordered a mexican and it should be here in like 10 minutes i honestly just feel so lucky to be here like every single moment i'm just like what is this life like it's crazy so yeah jas was just currently chilling in the mosquito net over there waiting for his food so yeah mm. okay I'm in bed. I, sh I probably shouldn't be eating in bed, but you know, I just want to chill out and bed is comfortable. So, anywho, food has arrived and I'm just so excited. We're going to have a place called Taco Fiesta. So, literally, so much Mexican food. Let me show you the nachos. Look at these nachos. I am so excited to eat them. Oh my gosh. This is all the rest of the food chicken quesadillas, which look incredible, burrito, which you can't see yet. And then we've also got some more nachos. So, so excited to tuck in. This all looks great. They're oh, pretty good. They're pretty good. Mm. Guys, we've had the most traumatic evening. So we've just sat here like minding our own business. And then a rat literally peered poked through, his poked his head through the curtains. And I literally <laughs> seen it, freaked out. It sounds so stupid. It, it sounds so stupid. But... I will insert some clips on the side of the screen now so you can see what we were dealing with. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. But luckily managed to get it out, but for like we couldn't see it for ages and it was just hidden behind the curtains and then it then it we Jasper was so good at like staying calm, like trying to guide it out. Like we didn't want, obviously want to hurt the rat or anything, but didn't want to go asleep with a rat in our Room. Well, I just think like they're like scared of us, isn't it? Yeah, Let's yeah. I was but just I trying was to absolutely petrified. I was trying to catch it in a basket. And yeah. No. But you managed to guide it out to like we opened all the doors. Bearing in mind letting all the bugs in, but we need to get it out. So Jasper guided it through the patio doors. It poor thing was absolutely terrified. Um, and then it literally ran and fell into the pool. So Jasper called me to get the dust pan and was like scooping the rat out of the pool. And oh my gosh, for literally like. No, he's back in the jungle. A minute. It was the most stressful thing, but it's all good. No he more probably, rat. He was having a right run around at one point, wasn't he? Oh my gosh, like... Yeah, but the funny thing is, it went back into the corner under the curtain where it came from. Yeah. And then he was like, I was like, I need to find something to like catch it under for our basket. And then it was like, oh, it's gone. Yeah, we I thought it was gone. moving the curtain, everything, no movement. Worked out where I reckon we ca it came in through. So I started box Blocking it up. boxing that up. Basically, it's just like a gap above the sliding doors where it can, and obviously rats and yeah. that can just get through small gaps. So I boxed all that up, and then I thought, oh, I didn't check down the left. It could have ran across the bottom, and I just pulled the curtain back and just see this big, long tail, and I was Awful. like, oh, he's hiding in the corner. But honestly, I to, without Jasper... I tried Jasper, to catch it in the basket. I missed. Yeah. It's so, they're so fast. So fast. Without you, I wouldn't have known how to deal with that, so... But yeah, it ran out, it ran, it ran out into the garden but obviously where the the rat's so close to the floor and the pools are drop i don't think it knew the pool was there and no. literally just like ran in Poor i thing. thought rats could swim well it kind of did swim but, it but i think it was more because it was terrified i was trying to get it out just with the broom at yeah. first but as soon as it would get on the broom it would jump off so then i actually scooped him out <sighs> and he's down in the down in the, in the jungle um, now. jungle after having a bath stressful times but time for sleep with no well, rats. It's weird though, because I was like, oh, I reckon it's a lizard. Yeah. Because we seen a big lizard earlier down in the jungle bit. And yeah. I, I could have sworn I, I could hear something above us, but you reckon it was always that way. Yeah. Memory card was full, but we're back. Yeah, like I, th I thought it was on the roof, what I heard. And I thought, oh, I'll get. I just instantly thought that one of those monitor lizards, because we seen one earlier. Yeah. 
Because it or, sounded or, loud. It, like, it sounded like fairly big. Yeah. Well, I thought a monkey, but I thought... It can't, I we don't haven't think seen there's any one. monkeys here. Uh, but then it stopped for at least 10 minutes. Yeah. And it wasn't very long in the first place. It just... It, actually, what it reminded me of was, like, back in the UK, like, a, a seagull walking on a conservatory roof. That's yeah. what it sounded like. Like a bird. It happened again, and I honestly, I was... I thought... If it happened, because it, it just done a bit of noise and stopped, didn't mm-hmm. it? And we looked at each other. And I thought, if it goes again, I'll, I'll open the curtains and I reckon it's just going to be a lizard. And then, and then with that, you went... <laughs> I am so I was mad. like, what? what? I'm you, you, make, you scare me because you like... I'm like, oh So my. crazy. Like, I, in those situations... And I still thought it was a lizard. Cause yeah, because fr- it was scurrying it, across the floor. like. But it was like under the curtain, wasn't it? Yeah. And I, I thought it was a lizard running across until it popped up that way. And, and we were like, like oh, oh no. my God. I was just here enjoying my Oreo double stuff. And then, yeah. We I were, like how you just remained in here. I literally, I couldn't get out. Isn't I was panicked. Your safety net. Yeah, like I was literally, I'm so useless in those situations. You're kind of like... Like, you just have to get on with it in a way. No, I'm like, like, what are we going to do? Yeah, you just get yeah, on with it. To, Whereas I it. would happily just get under the duvet and hide. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't sleep. No, I wouldn't sleep. But, oh so I mean, my it's God. Like, either, were you, well, then we text the people because you were like, we've got I said we get need them, get a backup. Them. Like, or we need someone else to help us, like, get it out. So, yeah, I said. And I, they might have done it before, like, they, I don't know. But yeah, I text a number, didn't get a reply for 10 minutes, so I was like, I'm taking matters into my own hands. Yeah. And You're just too whilst, brave. I don't know what whilst, I do about you. Whilst I was dealing with it, they text back, didn't they? Yeah, they were like, you sure it's a rat? Yeah. But, yeah, we just thought we'd text Airbnb host, because I don't, like, there's quite a few villas, so I don't know if they have, like, someone on site that could come help. And then they did reply. Yeah. yeah. They thought it was a cat, though. <laughs> they said, are you yeah. sure it's not a cat? <laughs> they must have thought that they... Because I didn't say in in the house, did yeah. I? I said, I said in the villa, but they might have thought I meant in like we could have been sat outside. They mm. might have thought in the garden, but then I wouldn't have said anything if it was in the garden. No. Um, but then I sent them a video, and then they were like, I can't remember what they put. Thank thank you so much for looking, looking after the, the villa. <laughs> Bless them. They're so lovely. And I'm but... there with the the, the basket <laughs> in the room. We sent them the video of it because I don't know if there's like holes and stuff. That's the thing that's the scariest thing is that we try to like block up any holes that we can see. And I feel like we're making such a big deal out of it. I know it's just like a little mouse, but like the mouse that was a rat. I'm sorry, anyone who says that's a mouse, that is not a mouse. (laughs) I've seen a mouse and a mouse fits in your hand. That thing is bigger than my hand. Imagine if we hadn't seen it though and woke up in the middle of the night with like a rat running up the curtains of the bed like i couldn't <laughs> i would be petrified i just feel like we're both just gonna be like itchy no just like especially once you turn the lights off to go to sleep any noise yeah like proper what's it what's the word called like sensitive like hypersensitive to sound because yeah. it all started with a sound. a sound anyway we're gonna go try and go to sleep get ready for bed maybe not sleep but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I shall see you for more Ubud fun in the next vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. In the next episode, we spend our final few days relaxing in the villa. You can call me lazy because I've done nothing today. Lazy. Okay, thanks, Jasper. We head to a traditional Balinese spa and get a full body massage. And things in the villa get even weirder. Jasper looked out the window and the pool was emptying, like, itself.